Hello my friends, welcome to a new video. Today, a comparison between the C-Magic Alpha Mini and the Logitech G Pro. Small and minimalistic is how you could describe the design of the Alpha Mini, while bulky and stylish would fit the description of the G Pro's design. This bulkiness and the angled up driving shaft of the G Pro can make positioning of your display a bit more difficult than with the Alpha Mini. Both wheelbases feature a quick release and can respectively generate 11 Nm of torque for the Logitech and 10 Nm for the Simagic via a direct drive transmission. The build quality of both. Now I know what you guys are going to say, yeah, but made of plastic, the Logitech. And okay, you guys are right, it is made of plastic, but that doesn't bother me at all because the functionality of it is not endangered in any way. And to be honest, the plastic that they used, it really looks good too. Of course, plastic is cheaper than the aluminium of the, um, the C-Magic, so build quality perhaps. The C-Magic a bit better. Uh, quick releases, well, I really like the quick release on the, uh, the G-Pro. I really like the quick release on the, the C-Magic. So no difference there. Uh, when it comes to the peripherals, so the steering wheels, I think both of them are a bit on par. Um, so yeah, uh, build quality, I would say from my opinion, both are a bit the same. It's really not easy to make a comparison between the G Pro and the C Magic Alpha Mini because of the true force which is in the, uh, in the G Pro. Now, what I did to be a bit more objective is I disabled the true force and uh, I, I'm comparing now the basic force feedback that both generates. Okay, so the first part here you can feel the bumps perfectly very very smooth very smooth it doesn't intensify towards the end so it is um a bit a bit light lighter than with the uh, alpha mini the amount of detail so in the first corner uh in the first uh, straight you can feel this very well because there's a lot of detail there but here also on the curbs a lot of detail you really can feel also when you accelerate when you're just drifting a bit in this uh, in this part yeah the, the curbs it does really well you feel it really well and here this part also so there's a lot of detail here um, because of the bumps in the road the sim magic here it felt better when you went down and and up again so you felt it really deepen with the um with the sim magic and here here on this part of the road this is easily one of my favorite parts so it starts light now and now it gets deeper and deeper and deeper the the vibrations the intensity that you get very very nice sentiment and here is so here it's straight it's flat and there's a, a, not that much detail coming um, coming from the Logitech here but it's the same with the with the sim magic and it's just because of the track it doesn't have much force feedback in it and that is exactly why I am such a fan of the true force if you have parts like that or in general if you have a game which doesn't have that great of a, a detail in the road like uh, no potholes or no um, um, no bumps that you can put on the true force so in ACC, I th think it's not really, it is an asset, but not that much of an asset um, when you compare it to uh, using it in a B uh, in a game like BeamNG. Because in BeamNG, the road detail is much, much less and the effects that the true force can generate there are much, much better. It is a much more enjoyable ride uh, there. So the difference here between the um, the G Pro and the um, C Magic is that with the True Force off, I think that the G Pro is much more subtle in the effects that it generates, and the C Magic 
it gives you more depth like in the long uh, long straight there when it went down it made me feel really that i was going numb because it was getting a really deep the vibration of i or the, the movement of the steering wheel i mean i, I can't imagine the drive driving getting much better than this when it comes to the details of force feedback that, I, that we are used to. Simply astonishing. The software of Logitech is kept really simple, very basic. So you have the Logitech G-Hub software, which is used to com configure the, um, uh, the G-Pro and it is a really a minimalistic configuration that you can put in there. Um, it also features uh, configuration on the wheelbase itself, which is pretty handy if you are driving uh, to up the true force, for example, very handy with the uh, with the G Pro. But in general, I think the software of the Sim Magic just gives gives you a bit more of uh, um, a ways to 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 personalize the feeling that you get from it to your to your liking. Despite the software of SimMagic being more complex, I do have the feeling that it is structured and easy enough for beginners to get used to, especially with the presets SimMagic offers for the wheelbases. When it comes to compatibility, you have the choice with the G Pro. You can have it um, PC, Xbox uh, compatible, PC only, and PC uh, PlayStation. Um, so there the compatibility is on all platforms. It's not the same with the Sim Magic. Uh, out of the box, the Sim Magic uh, Alpha Mini is only compatible on PC. Now there is the Sigma Cortex uh, that you can use to have it compatible with the PlayStation platform. Now I haven't tested the Sigma Cortex yet, uh, but what I have seen from the settings that you can put in it, it does seem quite decent, uh, decent hardware. It will add 100 euro to the total bill of the steering wheel. Ecosystem. Yeah, ecosystem is something which um, the G Pro users are not so keen on discussing because, well, actually the ecosystem for uh, the G Pro is uh, almost non-existent. You have the pedals, of course, that you can use the new new word pedals uh, for the G Pro, and then you have a racing adapter, and that racing adapter lets you use uh, the older pedals or uh, yeah, lets you mix and match the older hardware with the newer hardware that they brought out. But yeah, we are missing there a, a, a bit of a more classy shifter, a, a handbrake. This is missing in the ecosystem. And this is where SimMagic is really, really uh, strong. They have a very nice ecosystem and uh, the material from that ecosystem is also of very good quality. A remark I have for SimMagic is that they don't really have um, they don't really have like normal steering wheels that you find in a normal car, but this is a remark that I can put out for any manufacturer except for uh, perhaps uh, Moza, because I have to repeat it uh, to you guys, I really like the trucking wheel. Really wish I could see more of this in other ecosystems as well. For SimMagic, for, uh, for Logitech. Now for the ecosystem of Logitech, there is normally at, uh, at the end of the year, there would be an announcement that there are new peripherals available for, for, for the G Pro. So it's not there yet, so we still have to wait and see, but normally it is coming this year, some extra peripherals. So when it comes to problems, um, I have to say that I did not find any uh, reoccurring problems with uh, the Logitech G Pro base. Uh, everything seems to be working quite well, uh, or perhaps they are not sold enough to have problems. I don't know. Uh, but but anyways, for what I have read, I don't see any problems arising with the uh, with the Logitech G Pro. On the other hand, the Simagic um, Alpha Mini V1 that I have here, it is known that it gets really warm. Um, and I noticed this as well when I was driving it, that it gets really warm. This was an issue with the V1 of the Simagic Alpha Mini and should be resolved with the current model, the V3. In all fairness, even though I noticed the warmth, it didn't give any issues in my testing. Also to be noted, the force I used to test the wheelbase uh, was set to maximum. So availability and price both sell from their primary website. 
but they can also uh, you can also get the, the hardware via the dealers you have micro center i think in the us which is a, a, a big retailer and here in europe you have different uh, sim uh, simulator shops that uh, that offer the the sim magic now if i look at the prices and this is where i was a bit surprised because i thought that the uh, I thought the Sim Magic would be a bit cheaper, but if I look at the price, so for Europe, I have the wheelbase the Sim Magic Alpha Mini, which I can buy for 629 euro, and then I have the GTS steering wheel, uh, which is another yeah 360 euro or a bit more. Um, so yeah, if I if I look at those prices, I also come to 1050 uh, 1100 euro, and that is the same as the price for the. Uh, for the Logitech G Pro, also 1100 euro. Um, so this this came a bit as a surprise that they are, yeah, equally expensive um, when you when you compare them. As a conclusion, well, I'm a bit afraid to 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 give a conclusion uh, because I have been on uh, Facebook fora and and people are really even rude when 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 I say that I like, for example, the G Pro over the this this Magic. They get really rude they tell me i know uh, nothing about uh hardware i have to say i do understand that people say this because most people had their experience with the older logitech wheelbases and well those were not really the pinnacle of sensation for simulated driving unlike the logitech g pro but it is a bit difficult uh, when you get to a certain price level, a uh, certain power uh, to say, OK, this one is so much better. It's not the same as like saying uh, the difference between a Logitech G29 and uh, Fanatec DD, for example, that there is a difference in technology and that you really feel it well. It gets a lot harder to say which one is the best between uh, between two uh, wheelbases about the same uh, force and the same technology, the direct drive uh, technology. In a racing game like ACC, I think they are both more in balance when it comes to force feedback. The details of the Logitech G Pro are fluent, smooth and precise, but miss some intensity, especially on the straight parts of the track. This intensity is then compensated by the animo of the true force. The Sim Magic, on the other hand, is sublime when it comes to the amount of details on the entire track. Nice and crispy details with a very large, broad definition of intensities of force feedback. The only thing that bothers me a bit uh, there is that I miss some sensation like road surface, uh, revving or changing gears. While this is absolutely not missed when intensely driving through corners, it does feel a bit boring on flat pieces of road without too much detail in them. When it comes to games like BMNG, ETS, ATS or other games that are not known for their detailed road details, the G Pro is a much more interesting choice. Of course, there are other things that come into play. There is a console compatibility, the software and availability that differ between the brands, but perhaps the biggest is the ecosystem of Logitech. It's really shocking that it takes them so long to bring out peripherals for this wheelbase. At this moment, still none. And even though we are told that there will be something coming out this year, it will be interesting to see how it would relate to what Simmagic has to offer. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had something from this video. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I will see you all next video. Bye bye.